When we picked up this travel trailer and brought it home, it was with the dream of one day renovating it into our dream on the road rig. We got the trailer for an absolute steal and I had done a ton of research into it, making sure that it was the right purchase, but it has been two weeks and it is still parked in the exact same spot when we first dropped it off. And my in-laws are starting to ask questions like, now what? Now, having absolutely no experience with construction or trailer renovations at all, uh, I think the best way to go about this is just to start at the top and work our way down. So, I gotta get a ladder. Wow, this ladder is older and sketchier than our trailer by the looks of it. Oh my God, this step is legitimately broken. <sighs> okay. So apparently this is something you're supposed to do before you buy a trailer. Because we bought this thing sight unseen, we kind of screwed ourselves a little bit on being able to prevent some things that might be wrong with it. But they tell you to go on the roof and, and look for something. Okay, so our main problem points are gonna be like around this vent, which actually seems to have been stuck out or, or cocked or whatever that stuff is called. I can like actually like crease it with my finger like that. I wonder if that's a bad sign or a good sign. At this point, I'm not entirely sure if I should be standing on the top of this trailer. I, I don't know what its structural integrity is. Um, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna lay on it like this for now. So in the time that it took for you to get over there, yeah, I uh, found out that this piece is coming off of the top oh. of the door. Oh, oh, that doesn't look so, very good. I don't even know what this is. Like this uh, is just like a hole. As you can sort of tell from this perspective, you can see where the roof has actually started to bow down where these two vents are. And that's probably because, you know, he's done a bunch of work on them and that sort of like broke down the structural integrity of the inside of the trailer, so. Okay, so now we're inside of the trailer and uh, yeah, it, it's, it's kind of obvious where the problems lie if you're looking at the ceiling. Yeah, you can literally see where it has bowed right here, and there's definitely been some water damage. To be fair, the guy who sold it to us did tell us about this before we got it. That's why we got it for such a good deal. But in order for us to deal with the roof, we have to take off all of these as well. So it becomes a lot more complicated. So this is in the far corner above where we actually sleep and there does seem to be some water damage along this corner. Now I don't know where that came from because there isn't any sort of holes into the top from this side from what I remember so we're, we're gonna have to take a look at that when we pull this all apart I suppose. Now the floor itself might look horrendous but it, it doesn't look like it's been overly wet in the past, so maybe the moisture is mostly just like a roof thing. Although, that being said, I'm, I'm not pressing over there, so so who knows what's what's going on down there. Another thing that we are going to have to replace beyond these, these curtains, which are horrendous, so is uh, these window seals along the edges here, there's like, there's definitely like moss growing in a lot of these um, and they are quite hard and apparently they're supposed to be soft. Um, so we are going to be replacing those and hopefully we don't have to replace any windows. So this is probably our biggest issue with the windows. As you can see, there's like a duct tape patch here where one chunk of the glass is broken out and Robert, I guess, duct taped it on there so that it wouldn't, let mosquitoes in, I guess. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know where you buy 43 year old windows from. So this is one of the more blatantly obvious uh, patches of fiberglass that we're gonna have to work on. Um, we don't know how to do that yet, but this was caused along with this being ripped off because uh, Robert blew a tire on the highway apparently 
and uh, yeah, the, the shreds of the tire ripped off a chunk of this fender and, and broke off this chunk of, of stuff on the outside, so. Gotta be honest, I'm not entirely clear what I'm looking at here. <laughs> Oh wow, there's there's fiberglass under here that needs to be repaired too. Probably oh my god, and that. all down there as well. Something that you're supposed to do apparently is like you're supposed to check your tires because um, they need to be replaced every five years or so and you gotta make sure that your bearings have been packed. I don't know what that means, but um, we'll, we'll add that to the list of future tasks for us to get on board with. I think this is really the challenge is like, where do you start? Like, especially for people who've never done this before and who, who don't really know what they're doing. It's like, how do you even begin on something that has just like an endless list of things that need to be done? The only thing that's helping me with the overwhelm right now is, okay, this summer, it just needs to be livable in for us to be able to use it, for family members to use it, and then, you know, later in the year, that's when we start doing the big things. True. That's right? Yeah, right Right now it just, it just needs to function generally as like a spare bedroom on wheels. So what you are looking at right here is our black and gray water spout. Uh, it doesn't have a lid on, on the end of it anymore, which um, is, is not a great sign, I, I don't think. Um, and a weird, side feature of this trailer. As you can see, uh, there isn't really a tank underneath this trailer. So when we talked to Rob about the trailer, uh, yeah, it turns out this thing doesn't actually have a black water tank for the toilet. Um, so you, 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 you just have to be hooked up if you want to use the bathroom, which is definitely not what we want to be doing moving forward. So uh, we will, I guess get to the question of whether or not we go compostable or water toilet with a tank um, when, we, when we get to, to that stage of the journey. The only other thing is if you add a tank that's a whole bunch of extra weight that you're yeah. adding to this, right now between the fresh water and the gray water, it's a pretty light little, you know, little trailer and that's what we liked about it. So it's been about two days since we recorded that last bit about us sort of checking out the trailer because shortly after that, I realized that we were missing a few key pieces to do a bunch of initial testing on the trailer to see what's going on. Number one was our propane tanks, both of which were way too old to be used. So I got those swapped out for some new ones. Um, and also I realized that we don't have a battery. This is, I believe, where the battery is supposed to be for the trailer. Um, sadly, there's, there's, there's no battery, so. Two of the biggest things that we gotta figure out with this whole trailer system is whether or not the electrical works and whether or not the water and the gas lines work. And so these were two big things that we had to figure out in order to even just get that test done. Um, so now we have gone and purchased ourselves a deep cell battery that we're gonna put in here right now to, uh, to, to, to figure this out. Wow, that actually kind of fits. Okay, so there's our battery mostly hooked up. Uh, there is this weird little switch thing that I guess we have to turn on and then I guess we'll see if everything works inside. Looks like somebody scratched off on this side, so. Yeah. So this way is on? Yeah. Okay, so let's, uh, I guess, start with the light. Let's just see if the, the light works. Oh. Uh. Okay, what about, uh, okay, hold on. Let me, let me check the breaker. Should we switch it the other way? So. <sighs> This is our fuse box, which heater is off, deck plugs are on, table plugs are on. I don't, I don't see like a switch or anything. And for the, oh bless for you. these things to work? Well, it says on charger, right? Yeah. Well, flick it on and just see, see. Well, 
I, I mean, I don't think the light's gonna work, but we can try it. No. Okay, well, our uh, battery situation is still not figured out, which is a bummer, but we do have new propane tanks, so let's see if we can get something out of that. Okay, so let's turn the supply line over to this tank. We'll open that up and uh, let's see if we can get something going here. That's for the oven. Oh, no. There must be a thing that you switch, so that's on. There must be another switch thing to get power into here. So, I would love to say that this is, uh, you know, a weird surprise, but basically everything that we've tried to do to troubleshoot the trailer has been, like, kind of a failure. <laughs> yeah, it's usually taken more steps than we expected, uh, and half of the stuff is like broken off so you can't see what the labels are supposed to say like yeah. on the fridge where the battery connects you're like somebody just scratched off into it so you're like uh i guess that's right but you can see like right up your legs leah come oh, on okay, sorry, jesus sorry. Can come you on hear me? So one thing that we are waiting on is a adapter plug that goes from like the house plugins to the RV plugin that will help us test to see if this thing works beyond the battery. Like maybe I put the battery in wrong and that's why it won't light up. So this project I knew was going to be outside of uh, our comfort zone and, and mine in particular because I'm the one who's sort of heading up the whole project. Um, and, and my worst fear was that it was going to be like this, that, that every step along the way I, I would sort of encounter these roadblocks and, and to feel like I've spent a week on this already and, and gotten absolutely nowhere and spent a bunch of money and, and had no success is, is like, um, not, not a great feeling. Uh, heading into what is going to be the, the next big project that we take on. I think we need a win here and, and I don't know where it's going to come from. So yesterday I did our first run to Canadian Tire to pick up stuff for the trailer. First of probably thousands, I'm starting to imagine. <laughs> Amongst it is uh, some things that we are hopefully going to use to fix this trailer. I also bought two pairs of coveralls off the Facebook Marketplace for when we uh, get into more messy work. Look at that. Not bad. <laughs> at least I got room to grow. <laughs> All right, so we have to replace the propane line that goes from our regulator into the tank itself. Why is it so hard to open? Because we know for sure at least one of them was leaking. Um, so, so we'll hook this up, see if that's the problem. If that's not the problem, then we'll just replace the other one. And if that's not the problem, then, then we have more problems. I don't know what's more impressive, all of these words that you just said or the outfit between the two glasses and the hat. Oh yeah, I kind of forgot. These <laughs> things are so comfortable, I forgot I was even wearing them. <laughs> oh, that doesn't fit. Oh. It doesn't fit. What? Do they come in different sizes? No, there is only one and it doesn't fit. Uh. Wow, that that is that is so, just that is just so so lame. Wow. Okay. Well. Go down. 
So we realized that the problem was this old hose has an adapter attached to it. So we took that off the old hose, put it onto the new hose, connected it to the propane tank, reattached the other hose, turned it all on, and we'll see what happens. Oh, I hear it. I hear the gas. I can hear it coming on. You can smell it. Yeah. Let's... Left, right. Yeah, you can see it. Look. Yeah. It's blowing the, the light, the flame. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, you oh did it! Oh my god. Guys, we can cook shit in here. Wow. Wow. It fucking works. Okay, Robert was not lying to wow, us. Wow, that's crazy. Okay, let's turn the other ones on. Right rear. Oh, oh my god. I just god. needed a minute. Oh yeah, Whoa. baby. Now we're cooking, cooking with, with gas. gas. I knew you were going to say that. Whoa. Holy fuck, guys. We have gas. Woo. All right. Well, that is one absolutely massive victory. We have gas that flows through the lines in our trailer which uh you know for a minute there we didn't think we were gonna get it but probably more importantly is the electrical and we have purchased a little something to hopefully make that work too okay you doing this? yeah you want to all right, so Leah's brother-in-law, Steve, uh, is a guy who owns an RV. And so uh, I asked him if I could borrow this little adapter, which goes from your household plug to your RV plug. And this hopefully will bypass the battery and we will be able to tell whether or not anything works off electrical. Um, and then we'll figure out the battery. Yeah, and then we'll figure the battery out. Okay, not that one. No. Okay. Huh. So there must be something going on with the fuses then. Oh, it's charging. Really? Yeah. Wait, so it is? Yeah, look. Okay, okay, I'm gonna unplug it and tell me if it's still charging. Okay. It stopped charging. This one works too. Okay, so we have power there. So somewhere in the trailer, there's got to be a 12 volt fuse panel. And that is what manages the lights inside because I think that the outlets are 120 or something. Like they're the bigger, the bigger electricity right, thing. Right. And then there's smaller electricity thing, which is like lights and like the fan and stuff, and that's what's not what's not working. So we gotta figure out what the thick is going on there. But that's big. That's huge. We know that we have power, and when we're plugged in, that works. But the battery, there's a disconnect between the battery and the rest of the trailer, okay. Oh, okay, so after days of <laughs> messing around, we have come to the end of our first episode working on the trailer. Regardless, we have uh, a lot more trips to Canadian Tire to make and to our battery guys. So hopefully they can help us figure it out. But I feel optimistic. I feel like we had two big wins today yep. and two, mm, we'll see what happens. Yeah. So to give you some ideas about what we are planning to do here and how this is going to go, we have to get this trailer functional and safe to use by the end of the summer because we are planning to do, we have booked a campground for a trailer with Leah's brother and sister-in-law. If you have any uh, suggestions or, or advice on, on what we're supposed to be doing, obviously we are just flying by the seat of our Google search here. Um, and uh, if you like what you see, then maybe subscribe and you'll see us every week, hopefully for another episode. <laughs> Thanks everyone. Bye. Bye. Also, if you check this bump, look how much I'm bumping. Uh, hold on. Boom! Baby bump, <laughs> baby bump. 
I know that's why you're all here. Baby bump. <laughs> Well, I don't know if there's supposed to be water in the bottom of an electrical box. So this is the back of the fridge, if I'm not mistaken. And it is in pretty nasty shape. 